greatest friends ever because they all texted me to make sure I was awake. So thank you, Nicole, Natalie, and Natalie texted me exactly at 520. Oh my goodness. And they made sure I was awake for my VIP kid classes because I've been missing them because I've been asleep. Okay, gotta get ready for me I begin. <laughs> it is 7.01 and I just finished teaching three classes with VIP Kid. I am currently finishing my feedback for my last student and I have to get ready for school. All right, so I am on my way to first get breakfast and then go to my last day ever at Carver. I am changing schools this year and today's my last day. Well, teacher work day. It's not the last day of school. It ended last Friday, but it is my last teacher work day. I'm not coming tomorrow because I am going to the teacher hard out cruise in the Bahamas and my flight leaves tomorrow. So that is why today is my last day. And as you can see, my car is like stuffed with a few boxes and I have a few more boxes to get from my classroom. I am going to put them in my car later on today and take them down to my parents' house. But today should be really bittersweet. Um, I'm tr gonna try not to cry. I did cry on the last day of school because I ha it hit me at like 1 a.m. that it was my last teaching day at Carver last Friday, so it did hit me. I don't know if it'll hit me like that today, um, but we'll see and I'm gonna take you guys with me so you can see all the people that I work with. Um, it has been amazing to spend the last seven years of my teaching career learning from these amazing teachers and I don't think, um, I think they know um, when somebody leaves how much of an impact co-workers have on each other but then sometimes I don't think they actually know I don't think they realize that they have helped someone else but really truly um, I've worked with amazing people and I have built amazing friendships from these co-workers um, and some of them have even become my best friends I will take you along with me today like I said I hope I don't cry I'm gonna apologize now for how crazy the lighting is. Um, if I go over here, half my face is in the sun and I forgot my sunglasses at home, but I am reflecting on my way to school this morning and I wanted to ask if anyone has any advice for how to get rid of just the anxiety of the next step. I don't know if anyone else feels this way in life, but I feel like after completing something, you're always striving for something else or the next step. And right now, even though it's my last day at Carver and my summer vacation is starting tomorrow, how do I, I I'm constantly thinking about next school year. And I don't know if that's a teacher thing, but I think other people in life might do it as well. Just always thinking about what can come next, what can you do more, what's the next goal you guys want to hit. And that's just what I'm reflecting on right now is how can, like I know what my next step is, it's to get ready for the next school year and my new school, but how do I get rid of that anxiety and just that butterfly feeling in my stomach and are you going to get over without a turning signal? Because that's what we do in America. We use our turning signals. Um, sorry. <laughs> commercial for commercial break. Uh, but yeah, so if you have any advice on just life in general, um, how to get rid of I mean, I think it's good to think about the next step, but I, like, I don't want to think about the next step. It's my summer vacation. So if you have advice on how to not think about it, um, I usually just keep myself busy, but then it makes me upset when I'm not getting things accomplished. So there's that too. My brain is constantly moving. And again, that might be a teacher thing, but I don't want to blame it on being, it being a teacher thing. I don't, I don't like that. I want black and white answers. 
Hi, could I just get a plain toasted bagel with strawberry cream cheese and a bottled Diet Coke? All right, anything else? No, that'll be all. All right, thank you. I should not be eating this or drinking Diet Coke. All right, found my sunglasses. I am headed in for my last walk-in at Carver. Ah, I'm vlogging on my last day. As you can see, it's empty. This was my room for second grade for two years. I have to deflate. That's what they're slowly doing. Slowly deflate these even more, push them back in the box. And desk is cleared. Going to Amanda today to, to deliver her board and brush Christmas present. She doesn't know she's getting that, but I've had it for months and those boxes are getting delivered to my new school and this is what I need to put in my car. Oh, I also need to put these in my car. Oh gosh, I have more to do than I thought. But my classroom, my second classroom in this building, teaching second grade for two years and I've been at this school for seven. So it's very bittersweet, but I'm gonna put you down and let you guys uh, do a, a quick time lapse of me taking these boxes out. All right, I got all the boxes out. Now I need to go through some drawers and put them in this under the bed organizer right here. So these drawers I totally forgot to go into and all my posters are gonna fit into this little contraption here. That's it, I'm done. You see a cricket in the background and that's because I need to donate it to our media center. But this is it. This is the last bit of my classroom. This has been my life for two years. Everything's cleaned out or left for the next teacher. And that's it. All done. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. Carver, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun.